Hi boaters, I'm Bridget. And just like beach etiquette, there's boating etiquette. So if you're new to being invited aboard, keep watching and we'll teach you how to secure more invitations. If you're accepting a spot aboard, you're accepting your captain and their rules. At the end of the day, they're legally in charge of the boat and passengers. It's important to follow their guidance. Those buttons are tempting, but don't touch them. Your job is to learn and relax. Trash belongs in a trash can, not loose in the boat or worse, in the water. Keep things clean and dispose of anything you need to when you get ashore. Don't be embarrassed, it happens. If you begin to feel seasick, try to tell the captain or another passenger before things get bad. Always stay on deck and focus on the horizon. A quick tip for captains, it's always a good idea to keep common motion sickness medication on board for uncomfortable passengers. Always wear Coast Guard approved life jackets if you're planning to be exposed to the water. If you're not a confident swimmer, tell the captain and keep to areas of the boat with limited water exposure. Bow riding is a big no-no, especially if you're on a pontoon boat. Depending on the body of water, there might be a law to stay seated on the boat while moving. So ask your captain for the rules. Not surprisingly, but the best way to have fun is to avoid accidents. This means no pushing people overboard, standing on seats, or playing around by the boat controls. And if you're drinking, know your limits. Look out for each other and be responsible. There's plenty of room to swim in the water, but stay away from the boat, especially while it's running. That way you can avoid serious injury from a rocking boat, the propellers, or exposure to carbon monoxide. This allows a captain to assess a headcount and proximity to swimmers. Whether it's your first or hundredth boat trip, always keep safety in mind. After all, you're trying to stay on the invite list. See you out here.